Welcome, Leo, to your weekly love reading for March 19th to the 25th of 2018. So this will be describing energy that's coming into your love life. If you're dealing with someone, getting to know somebody, that's what this is for. For many of you out there, um, it's 11-11 as well. A lot of you may relate to that. So if you know about astrology as well, the sun this week on the 21st, it will be moving into Aries. And that does activate your ninth house of spirituality, mental exploration long distance travel so maybe going to a lot of different places um traveling a lot studying a lot after you have faced some of the um tensor emotions with that eighth house um activated when the someone's in pisces so um a lot of the tense issues or the emotional healing that you have gone through with that energy now you're reflecting on it now you're thinking about it now you're expressing what you've been through now you're reading up on it now you're trying to travel to go try to you know get out and maybe heal yourself because you're like Oof, you're taking a breather now because you've been through some kind of transformation for a lot of you that's how i kind of see that so just think about that um a lot of you could be traveling to your partner to see them thinking about a big move talking about negotiating those things around your spiritual beliefs those things could come up this week so um let's see messages for leo and love just gonna shuffle a little bit because i already did off camera messages for leo and love from march 19th to the 25th of 2018 okay leo and love. okay so nine of cups happiness to get out of that you know that tensor energy so for a lot of you this is being emotionally fulfilled something does come through where um, you're manifesting some kind of joy um being optimistic i feel for many and you have the world so we spoke about that traveling there maybe have done you may have found closure with someone you may have moved on a bit at least this week because you know these things change as i do weekly so the world is here and it does indicate you starting a new business or working with your romantic partner in the same um, area with them, uh, traveling somewhere, something new, finding closure. That's something that's making you happy. And some of you may be moving on and we have the full speak about that. This is starting over, starting fresh. So two major arcanas are here. And this could have been some of you have been dealing with an Aries and maybe if you found closure or some kind of release of a new beginning for some of you out there this is where you're feeling good you're feeling free the burden is gone now you can start over you can start fresh a lot of you are your options are open or your options are open when it comes to how you reconcile with somebody this could be literally starting over fresh with the person that you have been through um the ringer with before all right and the ace of wands is in the recent past so maybe a new attraction a new start a fresh start um a sexual attraction um anything like that new ideas of how to explore and balance the relationship if things were not working out and with previous attempts so it could be with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius for some but um it could have been something that you embarked on uh, maybe a new fitness regimen or something like that going to a gym with your partner anything like that could have been going on but the ace of wands is there Wow, you have a really good reading, right? So a lot of you, I know you're happy to see this. So coming out of that eighth house and this ninth with the sun being here, this is your card for a lot of you dealing with another Leo. But this is having fun, um, playing, going to different events, socializing, you know, winning, so to speak, winning emotionally, um, getting something that you want, even if it's not the specific person that you want. Emotionally, the newer you, that's another person, you know, another um, aspect of yourself, especially if you've been experiencing uh, some kind of um, that downward spiral um, of that darker side of yourself for a lot of you out there. So the sun is out now. All right. And you could be around your children, a new romantic partner, but just having some kind of fun. All right. Wow. You got the Empress. So there is maybe um, a Taurus that's there for a lot of you. There is you when you're feeling good, when you're feeling happy, when you're feeling attractive, you're feeling playful, when you have different ideas of how to make things work this is when you kind of pull people towards you right you like you make a magnet a magnet all right that's how you may be feeling so this is where you say i have the power for many of you out there male or female doesn't have to be a female but this is um, pregnancy as well some of you may be happy about that but this particular relationship or new person or the freedom that you have may be having you feeling really creative um maybe sexually physically um 
communicating to that person intellectually it just depends but um the empress is there for a lot of you maybe um your partners and meeting your mother um traveling to go see your family your parents you know those kind of energies are there that's what i see so that energy is coming towards you so um some good things are coming towards you all right while you have another good card the six of pentacles is how you might be responding so whoever may be coming towards you you may be treating that person say if it's someone that you're dealing with um now this week the sun is still in pisces up until the 20th so if you're dealing with the pisces if you're dealing with a um in aries this may be um, birthday time events that might be going on where there are celebrations and a lot of fun activity that could be happening so joy is there so either you're giving this out um, or receiving something this could be money it could be anything merchandise um generosity when it comes to someone being selfish in the past now you're turning things around now you're able to help someone else out um in certain situations if uh they need to if you need to all right now how others may be seeing you the four of pentacles so they could st still see that you may be still reflecting on a past relationship a past person where you have been trying to move on you have been trying to find closure so you still have been clinging on to that particular person or you are holding on to your significant other who you are currently with a lot now the happiness is there sometimes it can overwhelm you and say if that person kind of disappears or goes, some, goes somewhere else you're not liking that so much because you want them there you know this is that extreme attachment so um the romantic partner might be seeing you in that way or um the family and friends might be seeing you in that way also saving money as well as you um kind of uh any up for something that you want to put out maybe something that you want to buy invest in maybe invest in this relationship all right so your partner what might be going on with them the seven of cups maybe they are single for some of you with the world being there and your partner they may have moved on and even though they have moved on maybe this is you being at peace with that and saying okay all right i don't have to worry about that now i know where i stand and you're standing much better than you were before when you were, were not sure about their motives their intentions and holding on to you so um others of you your partner may be trying to figure out what they what else they might want to do to help out with the connection between you two they may have freed themselves up and maybe some of you have from a past relationship so now they're trying to see if you two can work things out where you two can um be together now or not i feel like that's there and then the two of wands that's making a decision you're still maybe contemplating a choice right now there's a lot going on this week for many of you out there especially when it comes to traveling or relocating but if it comes to your other part a partner to someone that you might be waiting on the anticipation is there that's what i get a sense of so the two of wands is you um kind of waiting so you have some really 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 good cards all right so let's see what let's just look at what your partner might be up to where if i um the seven of cups for leo's partner if you're doing with somebody pray by the seven of cups the chariot should i relocate should i travel to go see them um or should i just keep my gas on the pedal and move away from uh, my ex-partner or this relationship that kind of thing is there that's what i get a sense of um what kind of new car am i going to get you know those kind of things where are we going to move to um what are we going to do now um for some some again the person that you have dealt with in the past they're moving on and trying to find different ways to or where can you to travel and um go on vacation or something like that where can you to now um build this relationship up for some of you out there so someone has moved on moving forward or they're moving forward with you that's what it seems like to me and messages for messages for leo for march 19th to the 25th of 2018 getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond deepens so i don't know which reading was better was it um it might it might be yours i don't know because taurus has something that was really like this good last week so you might be having the same kind of thing so you may be dealing with the taurus for some but you could be getting to know anyone um that you might be around and taking some time to do that all right messages for leo from march 19th to the 25th you oh. <laughs> 
you deserve love you might not feel like you deserve it how this just popped out my hand you deserve love you are lovable and this is a reflection of the universe trying to let you know that it's possible um you know this is a general reading so for many of you this can reflect on different things different people if it's not someone specific these are friends and family that you may be around that's trying to offer you emotional support to just enjoy yourself and you might be having a really good time with them um but many of you out there you're having to stay you know be optimistic about um what you do deserve because you know it deep down that you do especially if you're going through a lot of tense things and you've been doing right and you've been being kind and uh, doing the best being the best that you can be so those are your messages i do hope that they help you out these are general so if you would like a private or personal reading you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for your energy all right have a good one